At his job at Western Municipal Construction, Gavin Morrison gets to try out a trade that he really enjoys. Yeah, I've always wanted to be like a mechanic of some sort. The 17-year-old started here about three months ago. Um, my cousins actually worked here and they pushed me to get a job here. After his options and education were no longer working out. I took my sophomore year at Skyview and then after that I just, I went like halfway through and then just stopped. I felt it wasn't for me. One factor not in question was love and support at home. Tell me about your mom. Oh, she's outstanding. She's a good mom. And Gavin's mom feels the same way. The baby ones. <laughs> She's my mini me. <laughs> like literally, I could have the worst day ever, and that kid will give me a hug, and I will forget everything. They've stuck together through the hardest parts of life. This one is my stepdad's tow truck. He was killed in an accident. It's his name, Brandon. It was. It's been a hard year, but we've made it through. And Amanda has stuck with Gavin when school became a challenge. It, it was kind of rough because he had severe ADHD and ODD. In struggling to stay in school, Gavin is not alone. We typically have over 200 students a year drop out, um, which is way too many. One student is too many. In Billings School District 2, the high school dropout rate has ebbed and flowed over the last five years, settling around 260 students per year before and after the pandemic. This is about 4% of the Billings High School population, which is on par with numbers from around the state. We realized that a lot of the, the students that had uh, withdrawn and dropped out of school didn't know what their options were. And so we held a luncheon um, and we entitled it Project Engage because we wanted to re-engage those students back into their education. What started as a luncheon turned into a bigger idea to start a school devoted to students seeking their high school equivalency degrees through an alternative structure which in some school, some settings may, may be an alternative high school, but we're going to call it an opportunity school because it's an opportunity for students to still earn that high school diploma in a different path. And that's something we're working on to get ready in the fall of 2024. The Opportunity School is one of three school projects the district is hoping to fund through the state's new charter school allowance. In our first year, I'd love to have about 100 kids. Building off of Project Engage, which has been working for Gavin. He starts classes on Tuesday as he works towards his high school equivalency degree. I can go to college with it, which that's one thing I want to do is go to college. I hope that he achieves every goal he has, and I know he will. In Billings, Jackie Coffin, MTN News.